I, I, never, I never dreamed that I would be here. I sort of felt like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I came in for a tour of what the previous show was, and then the next thing I know, I was handed the keys. All I can say is, thank you very much. You've... That was Trevor Noah. He was announcing the end of his seven-year run as host of The Daily Show. He's with us. He's going to talk about that and also some other projects he's been working on, including a new Netflix comedy special. It's called I Wish You Would. Let's look at that for a second. And I was ready. I was like, I'm going to surprise my dad. I plan to get to his house, knock on the door. He's going to open it, be surprised, like, oh, Trevor. Then I'll be like, Papa, express in Deutsch. And he's going to be like, oh, it's Nimadish. Didn't go according to plan. I got there, he was surprised, he was happy, but as soon as I spoke, I was like, Papa, it's in Deutsch! And he was like, don't do that, don't do that, huh? <laughs> no, don't, don't do Trevor that. Trevor no. Noah, good morning, good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see you. Let's talk first about the goodbye, because you talked about being like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, you couldn't believe that you had the keys, and right. now you're saying goodbye. How hard is it to say goodbye to a job that is among the most coveted in our industry? I, I, I think it's extremely difficult, but not because of the job part. It's, it's difficult because of all the people that I do the job with, you know? I, I'm sure you, you know what it's like. Everyone becomes, you know, not a family, but a, but a team. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a team that you enjoy doing things with. There's people that you enjoy making jokes with and mm -hmm. creating ideas with and figuring out what the puzzle is going to be. And I think that's, that's the most difficult part because it becomes part of the routine of your heart. Are, so... you, are you scared? Oh, yeah. Well? Oh, def are? Definitely. I, I think anything worth doing should scare you. You know, so I, w I was scared to take the job. You know, I was scared to leave the job. Uh -huh. You know, I'll be scared to do the next project, hopefully. I, I always think to myself, if you're not scared to try something or to do something, then, you know, like, why are you doing it? Like, walking should be something that shouldn't scare you. <laughs> yeah, right. I just walk. <laughs> walking doesn't scare me, but everything else in life that's exciting scares me a little bit. I mean, you've had so many big interviews to look back on. I cannot believe you just had Will Smith. This is somebody we've all wanted to hear from. Yeah. What kind yeah. of an impression did he leave on you after that interview? I think he left the impression of a human being. You know, and I think that's what I'm trying to do in life is, is try and connect with my humanity I'm a human being people are human beings. We're all experiencing something. We're all going through something We're all trying to figure out who we are and how we, re we relate to the world And so funny enough, that's that's what I'm consciously trying to think of when I engage in the news mm -hmm. When I engage in my comedy when I travel the world, it's 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 always in, in, in the top of my mind Why did you want to leave the show? What was it? Well, it's not that I wanted to leave the show. It's that I needed to find need a way to make time for everything else that's happening in life. Ah. You know, I realized during the pandemic, everyone talks about a work-life balance. But that almost, you know, creates the idea that your work and your life are two separate things. Yeah. When, in fact, I, I came to realize during the pandemic, it's just, it's a life-life balance. Uh -huh. It's your life. life. You're living your life yeah. right now. Yeah. I'm living my life yeah. right now. Yeah. Your life doesn't stop because you're working or not working. And yeah. so if, if you want to make more time for family, if you want to make more time for friends and what you want to do, and everything, mm -hmm. you know, is, time is the one thing we cannot increase. I love that. You know, so, so it was a case of, like, make more time, find a way to create that time. Let's talk about your Netflix special. Um, it's so funny. You Thank do you. such great presidential impressions. <laughs> which one's the easiest and which one's the toughest? It depends. It really depends. You know, because it's funny, like, my favorite one is, is, is Obama. Because, yeah. Let's hear but, a little. But, but whenever I do it to him, like, I'll say it to him, you know, okay. he'll see me yeah. and be like, oh, Trevor, uh, what's going on? And, I, and, then he, and then I'll say that to him. I'll be like, Mr. President, uh, good to see you. And he's like, I don't sound like that, Trevor. And I'm like, uh, but you do. Uh, you sound exactly like that. And he's like, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> so I, I love playing with, with, with him on that. Um, uh -huh. You know, and he was on the show recently. And it's just, it's just fun. I think because, like, I play with more the caricature of who they are in yeah, my head. in your head. Than, like, the specific... I'm not trying to impersonate them. I'm trying to impersonate the character of who they are to me. You do a good Clinton? I, I don't really, no, actually. It's you just, don't? No, because I just remember, like, all the stories he'll tell. I mean, you, you've yeah. met him. And it's just yeah. like, you know, he's just got that chilled out, very, you know, how did I ever tell you about the time you were in Louisiana, weren't you? And I, I was also in Louisiana for a while. You know what I mean? He just always has a story about everything. That's all I know about him. Now, one of the things you love is traveling. So yes. you're going to take, you're yes. going on the road for comedy again. You're going, I am. are you so pumped about that? I am so excited, and I'm so grateful. So the one thing I love doing in my off time yeah. is stand-up comedy. <laughs> I know it sounds wild, but I, I relax. I get to enjoy a city. I get to explore the cultures of the places that I'm going to. It's how I learn different languages. Yeah. It's how I explore the world. And, and so, you know, once I was announced that I was leaving The Daily Show, I was like, here are a few dates yeah. that, we, that we're releasing, that we're going to be doing, first in the U.S. and then Europe and then Africa and, and the Middle East and Asia. 
And once we released the U.S. dates, I mean, like, 31 shows immediately sold out. And now we've, like, added 30-something more shows. It's actually been wild. And now I have to be careful that I don't go into overworking yes. when I thought I was going to be... Because you need a personal life. Do you yes. have a personal life? I, I think so. You do? What's, I'm not sure. What's her name? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I genuinely am not quite sure. Um, real quick, when people stop you on the street, is there anyone you get mistaken for? Do people go, you're... You know, can I tell you one of the craziest yeah. things that happened to me? So yeah. I, was, I was at a a basketball game. Yeah. This guy comes up to me in, in the stands yeah. and he's with his wife and he's like, he's like, hey man, can I get a picture? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, um, okay. And, and then he's like, yeah, you're the weekend, right? <laughs> the weekend? <laughs> and so I said, I said, no, no, I'm not the weekend. And he's like, no, you're the weekend. I said, I'm, I'm not the weekend, yeah. sir. Um, and so we don't need to take this picture then. And he's like, you're lying. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> lying. I'm, I'm not lying to you. I'm not the weekend. And my friends are sitting there. They're loving this. And then he walks away. And he, he, he looks at me, pauses for about 10 seconds, walks away, and then confidently says to his wife, he's like, he's lying, honey. The week- I know the weekend when I see him. I know, it's, I know it's him. And he just walks away. Wow. I was like, I should have said, I am the weekend, and screw you, I'm not going to take a picture. I was like, <laughs> that would have been awesome. Trevor, thank you. We wish you such good luck. Thank I know you. you're doing thank a project so on MSNBC, too. You've, yes. got, you've got some documentaries yes. you're working on. You've got so much going. Best of luck. Wow, thank you what an much. adventure you're on. What thank a great so ride. Much. Yeah, and it'll be fun to watch you in my pajamas for a change. Because normally I watch you in a suit. Yeah. You know, I've been watching the show for See? so many years. This time pajamas, but I'll still be watching. Thank oh, you. We love you. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out his comedy special on Netflix. Tickets for his off-the-record tour are on sale. And you better get them quick because they're going fast. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.